what do you think the government can do as its first steps in improving the lot of LGBTs? Well, I think first of all they have to recognize that LGBT are citizens of Malaysia just like anyone else mm -hmm. and therefore they are entitled to all the same rights as every other citizen mm -hmm. in this country. So there should not be any differentiation, any discrimination between uh, uh, towards them just because they are LGBT. So when it comes to work, for example, particularly work, school, hospitals, it should be the same as everyone else. And then if they face uh, violence of any sort, then the police should take action as they would anyone else. I, you know, I mean, if I got beaten up, I expect the police to do something about it. Similarly, a, a transgender person should expect the same. Uh, recently, we also have uh, some rather tempered comments from Mujahid. He said that, uh, on one hand, he said that there should be no discrimination against LGBTs. On the other hand, uh, LGBTs shouldn't uh, challenge about the system and that kind sort of thing. What do you think of the, the kind of comments? Well, um, I think, you know, I think Mujahid um, has good uh, intentions. Uh, but as always, it's a matter of um, expanding your knowledge on the issue and um, maybe hearing it from uh, the most affected people themselves. Um, I, I think what he needs to understand is that in Malaysia, LGBT uh, people, the LGBT community are quite different from what you see in the West. I think everyone's been um, colored by, you know, seeing what they've seen in the West. LGBT people here in Malaysia, they're not asking for extra rights. They're asking for the same rights as everyone else. Uh, number two, as far as I know, and I have a long history of, of uh, knowing the communities, they're not particularly um, aggressive in demanding their rights. Uh, as you see, most of them are marginalized, and if you're marginalized, you're basically quite disempowered, and so most of them don't actually, uh, they're not demanding their rights. But what happens is even within that passive Fans, even when they're not demanding, they are discriminated against based on appearance, based on assumptions, based on stigma. Um, I mean, we've had a schoolboy killed because he walked funny. I mean, he wasn't doing anything. Was he marching, demanding his rights? He wasn't. He was just going home. So that is the that is the point, really. When people say, it's okay, you do it in private, don't demand your rights. A lot of the time, they aren't demanding their rights, but they're facing, uh, facing uh, this uh, uh, discrimination and violence just for being themselves. I mean, when people get thrown out of their families, like a lot of transgender people are, where are they demanding their rights? You know, don't you have a right to a family, you know, to be, you know, you, you know, are people, uh, are some people uh, not able to, to enjoy the love of their family? I mean, we're trying to keep families together, we're, we're going on and on and on about the family, but when families throw out their own children, what do we do about that? You know, and, and that's the issue. So I think it comes from a lack of understanding of uh, what the situation exactly is.